Getting started with the web. Getting started with the web is a concise series introducing you to the practicalities of web development. You'll set up the tools you need to construct a simple web page and publish your own code. Uh, the story of your first website. It's a lot of work to create a professional website. If you're new to web development, we encourage you to start small. You won't build another Facebook right away, but it's not hard to get your own simple website online. So we'll start there. By working through the articles listed below in order, you'll go from nothing to getting your first web page online. Let's go. Installing basic software. When it comes to tools for building websites, there's a lot to pick from. If you're just starting out, you might be confused by the array of code editors, frameworks, and testing tools out there. In installing basic software, we show you step by step how to install the uh, how to install just the software. You need to begin some to begin begin some basic web development. What will your website look like before you start writing the code for your website? Uh, you should plan it first. What information? Are you showcasing uh, what fonts and colors are you using? What your website will look like? What will your website look like? We outline a simple method you can follow to plan out your site's content and design. Dealing with files. A website consists of many files, text content, code, style sheets, media content, and so on. When you're building a website, you need, a, uh, need to assemble these files in, into a sensible structure and make sure that Dealing with files explains how to set up sensible, a sensible file structure for your website and what issues you should be aware of. HTML basics, hypertext markup language is the code that you use to structure your web content and give it meaning and purpose. For example, is my content a set of paragraphs or a list of, bulleted, uh, of bullet points? Do I have images inserted on my page? Do I have a Data table, without overwhelming you, HTML basics provides enough information to make you familiar with HTML. CSS basics, cascading style sheets of CSS is the code that you use to style your website. For example, do you want um, the text to be black or red? Where should the content be drawn on the screen? What image, uh, background images and colors could be used to decorate your website. CSS Basics takes you through what you need to get started. JavaScript Basics is the programming language that you use to add interactive features to your website. Some examples could be games, things that happen when buttons are pressed or data is entered in forms, dynamic styling effects, animation, and much more. JavaScript Basics gives you an idea of what is possible with this exciting language and how to get started publishing your site. Once you have finished writing the code and organizing the files that make up your website, you need to put it all online so people can find it. Publishing your sample code describes how you can get your, uh, how to get your sample code online with minimum effort. How the web works. When you access uh, your favorite website, a lot of complicated things happen in the background that you might not know. How the web works outlines what happens when you view the web page on your computer. The next video will uh, go over <clears throat> installing basic software.